My name is Wang Zhongming, Zhongming Wang, and I'm from Taiwan. I am one of the organizers in Occupy Taipei. Uh, that day, we, uh, we have many people, I'm not sure how many people come, and we surround the uh, Taipei 101 building, very high building, we surround it, and uh, we thought that the building is a symbol of uh, uh, capitalism, and we try to occupy it. And we go in the department store, and everyone loudly uh, talk about how we can act, how we can respond for uh, everything, uh, for the uh, economic issues, and for the environmental issues. And it is very, uh, uh, very happy that we have so many people that uh, try to find a way for our future. And then we have some uh, some movement that we occupy the the yeah. uh, uh, we occupy uh, the neighborhood of the uh, Taipei 101 building, and um, we try to let everyone who go to the department store to think about what we are doing now. And for now, the, the place have already cleaned up by the policemen, but we have uh, continued to do other things in other places. I think Occupy Movement is very, uh, very meaningful that uh, Taiwan people have to think about not only make, make, make money, but also how to have a good future, have a good life. And uh, I'm very happy that um, we are a part of the Occupy movement around the world. What kind of people are part of Occupy Taipei? Okay. Uh, students and uh, the uh, normal people who work in office, who very, very normal people. Uh, the, most of them, they have a, a, a job. So they come after their work, about uh, maybe uh, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., they they come to our place, talk to us, and about uh, leave about 10 p.m. And tomorrow they go for work. And when he uh, leave their office, they come to us. It is very interesting because uh, I I I I participate in many uh, social movement, but uh, it is not a common. Uh, come on situation that so many people when they uh, leave their office they come to us it is very special how long were you able to occupy the space before the police removed you about I, 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 I'm not quite sure maybe maybe four or uh, four months also I'm not sure yeah. about uh, we, we are we occupied there last year October and they removed maybe this year in uh, February, maybe. And what was the removal like? Was it was it easy? Was it hard? What were the police like? Um, because uh, people who participate in the movement have to have other plan. They have a market to exchange everything without money. And the, the, the market is not in our occupied space, so they, they go to other space. So we just uh, a little bit uh, leave the occupied space in the building. And then for a long while, people, uh, the policemen and the, uh, the department store, they, they don't move our stuff. And so it, is, it, it becomes a, a scene. And many visitors, tourists, take pictures of there. And then uh, the policeman thought that we will come back. Yes, uh, I think that um, Taiwan policemen quite they don't know how to manage such a thing. So they they, they just um, we, we use some some uh, method to let them uh, keep away from us. But uh, um, I think it is peaceful. I don't think we have to be peaceful. I think sometimes we have to have a strong force. Okay. But uh, when we can uh, act in peace, I think it is also a good way. And do you think that the police felt like they were part of the 99%? Yeah, we try to tell them about this. And um, I think they have um, 
they need to have more time to absorb the thought. And can you talk a bit more about what you meant by sometimes you need to use force and sometimes to be peaceful? Uh, for example, we, we, we try to go in the, uh, the department in the Taipei 101 building. Uh, at the beginning, we, we and the policemen uh, are very stressful. Yes. Yeah, so we, we go in and we shout and then we have the place. We sit in the department store and we talk about everything. And then the situation becomes peaceful. I think we, we must open the door. And when you have to open the door, maybe a little bit uh, force you have to use, but not violence. Okay, so, right. So, so you're just, you're, you're, you're occupying. You're not being violent. You're still non-violent, but you're yes. choosing to occupy. Yeah, yes, yes. And in Chinese, how do you say we are the 99%? In Chinese, oh, we are 99%. Yeah. And the Occupy Movement? Uh, we, uh, occupy Taipei, Zhanlin Taipei. Yeah. So did you have a chance to read the draft resolution that came from the Green Party of the United States about yes. the Occupy Movement? And what do you think about it? I read it. I think it is important because we have to remind people that uh, in the Occupy Movement that um, it is important to uh, not to separate political issues with the Occupy movement because political area is a part of our, our life. You cannot live in a, a environment without political issues. So we have to participate not only in economical area but also in political area. So you think we can occupy politics? Of course. We are trying to occupy politics.